The tech industry is booming, and you can tell that by the growing salaries. So let's look at the 10 highest paying jobs in the industry. According to the most recent DICE 2020 tech salary report, the average annual salary in tech in 2019 was $94,000, which is a 1.3% increase since 2018. Not a huge increase overall, but trust me, the report has some very interesting trends in terms of the different roles, with some of those different roles increasing their average annual salary by over 20% since 2018. Before we get into it, I wanted to thank DICE for sponsoring this video. DICE is a leading tech career hub connecting employers with skilled technology professionals and tech professionals with career opportunities, data, insights, and advice. Learn more about DICE using the link in my description and download this awesome, super insightful, free report also using the link in my description. This report contains all of the data that I'm about to share with you and so much more, including benefits, job satisfaction, salary per state and metro area, and etc. etc. So are you ready for the list of the top 10 highest paying jobs in tech in 2019? Drum roll please. We will go from the 10th to the 1st, with the 10th having the lowest average annual salary out of the top 10 highest paying jobs in 2019. And on the 10th place, we have data scientists with an average annual salary of $106,298 in 2019. That is an 11.4 increase since 2018. Clearly, these professionals are in high demand. Data scientists create value out of the thousands and thousands of data points a company might be collecting. They apply their skills to analyze, find trends and insights, building models, programming to automate some of those processes, and also building machine learning algorithms. Number nine is sales engineers with an average yearly salary of $110,030, which is a crazy 21.8 increase since 2018. Sales engineers combine technical knowledge with Yes, you've guessed it, sales skills. They're essentially technical salespeople for advanced scientific and technical products. And they also serve as a liaison with the engineering and research and development partners. Data engineers are on the eighth spot of our list with an average annual salary of $113,249, which has benefited from the 9.3 increase since 2018. Data engineers focus on infrastructures for data generation. They deal with raw data and databases, making sure that all the data generating systems talk to each other and work together to generate this information. They normally work closely with data scientists who they pass on this information onto. In position number seven, we have software developers with an average annual salary of $114,000 $336, which was an increase of 4.7% since 2018. Software developers work on creating and iterating software. The size of the company, of the team, and the complexity of the software at hand will dictate the scope of the projects that software developers will be working on, and different projects may require the knowledge of different programming languages. Project managers are on position number six of our list with $116,012 of average annual salary, which was a 4.6% since 2018. Project manager's role is pretty self-explanatory. They manage projects. They set the project goals, success metrics, milestones, assign roles, and orchestrate the whole thing. They also serve as a liaison between the project team and the higher management, making sure that everything is on track, within budget, etc. DevOps engineers are on spot number five of our list with an average annual salary of $115,478. This was a 5.2% increase since 2018. DevOps engineers understand both engineering and coding, and they work with multiple different departments. They serve as a liaison between software developers and the IT team, creating systems and infrastructure to make everyone more productive. 
Off to spot number four, where we have security engineers with an average yearly salary of $121,228. This was a 9.5% increase since 2018, which clearly shows that there is a high demand for these type of professionals. Security engineers are responsible for keeping companies' confidential and private information safe and secure. They ensure that the company has the correct and the up-to-date software and hardware, eliminating vulnerabilities and overseeing IT projects that may expose some private information. Product managers are on position number three with an average annual salary of $121,316. This was a 6.3% increase since 2018. Product managers are responsible for the product vision, implementation, life cycle, as well as marketing. They're very strategic, do a lot of market and user research, understand trends and user needs, and also create long-term vision and strategy for the company and its products. Position number two is cloud engineers with an average annual salary of $128,000. $347. Again, that's a pretty steady increase of 5.6% since 2018. Cloud engineers are responsible for maintaining, managing, and developing programs on the cloud. Depending on the company and the product, there can be multiple different roles under this umbrella. But what you need to understand is that all of those roles are related to cloud computing. And finally, the highest paying job in tech for 2019. Are you ready? Systems architects take the lead with an average annual salary of $138,277. And again, you can tell that there's plenty of demand for that role with 7.7 .7 increase since 2018. Systems architects manage networking and computer systems from designing and implementing them to operating and maintaining them. They assess what computing power the company, its products, and its users need and ensure that all the infrastructures are working correctly. So there you have it. Those are the top 10 highest paying jobs in tech right now. If you'd like to learn more and see what roles come after these top 10, as well as get general statistics on employment in the tech industry right now, make sure you download this awesome report by DICE. Again, the link is in my description. Were you surprised by these 10 roles and their order? Let me know in the comments. Like this video if you've enjoyed it, share it with a friend who is looking to switch careers sometime soon, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.